So in this video, we're looking at a slightly more complicated example. We've still got a rod, a horizontal rod, that is in equilibrium. Um, we have a force P, which is being applied to the right at A. So that's different to what we've looked at previously. And we also have a force at C being applied at this angle of 30 degrees. So the first thing that I would do is I would split this force up into its components. Now, you can do this in different ways, but I would naturally go for doing this. So we have the opposite side, which is going to be 20 sine 30. And we have the adjacent side, 20 cosine 30. OK. So just be careful that the point of action is at C and not there, okay? So the force is being applied at C. So just be a little bit careful with this. Okay, so um, one of our missing forces is Q, so I'm going to resolve vertically first. Taking upwards as positive, we have the 10 Newton force, we have the 20 sine 30. Okay. Now, downwards forces is just Q, so take away Q must be equal to zero. So 10 plus 20, oh, make sure you calculate this in uh, degrees, that'd be helpful. 10 plus 20 times sine of 30, and uh, that's 20. So Q is 20. Okay. Got that sorted. Right, next, um, to work out P, I'm going to resolve horizontally. So I'm going to take to the right as positive. So forces that are acting horizontally, we have P going to the right. And the only other force going to, uh, well, working horizontally, is the 20 cosine 30, the component of the 20 Newton force. So take away 20 cosine 30 is equal to zero. So we have 20 times cosine of 30, and so that's 10 root 3. Right, then we need to work out x. So to do that, I'm going to have to take moments about a point. I'm going to take moments about point A. So we are x distance, x metres away from the Q Newton force, which is going around in a clockwise motion. And so that's 20 times x. And we are 3 metres away from the uh, vertical component of the 20 Newton force. So, and that's going around in an anti-clockwise motion. So take away 3 times by 20 sine 30. And that's got to be equal to zero. OK. So we have 3 times 20 times sine of 30. And then we divide that by 20. And so we get uh, 3 halves, so 1.5 metres.